if you build something and give it to the people, you know, people take it for granted. But when you engage them in the process of building, then they start to own it. Most of my projects are low budget projects. The reason being I do not work for developers or corporates in that sense. To me, architecture has a far more greater values than just being a product of instant appeal and flash and glamour and fashion. The Baitar of Mosque, uh, it's a project which is built in the northern fringe of Dhaka city. So one major um, decision that I took during this design process was not to uh, address the symbolic aspect of the architecture but to more uh, focus on the spiritual character and that actually brought me to the idea of using light as an element. To me design is all about intelligence, how you whatever um, budget you have, how well you can uh, address it by design and, and including people and so that's why many of the projects are community involved projects. If you build something and give it to the people, you know, people take it for granted. But when you engage them in the process of building, then they start to own it and, and it's very important to own a building for the life of that building because once people own something, they take care of it. The reason I took up teaching was actually for a very selfish reason. <laughs> it was for myself. <laughs> because you know, you engage with the younger mind and as an architect, when you're designing, you have to keep yourself updated, you have to keep yourself constantly young. You cannot grow old when you're a designer <laughs> in your mind. So, um, so being with students actually helps me uh, to keep that exercise of my mind going. So uh, the students visited Dhaka in uh, April this year. It was a project uh, which we called uh, Housing the Urban Invisibles, which is about the people who live in the city, but the, they are not recognized either by the government uh, through social housing because there is no social housing in Bangladesh and also there is no uh, housing by the developer let's say for people who are living um, with the lowest of means in the city and I think you know coming from Europe going to a country with where you know where people are actually trying to survive with the very basic of means it kind of gives you a, a a different perspective about life and the world where we live in. You can see that when they are designing, they keep on talking about all these experiences that they had. Architecture uh, goes beyond architecture. It's about expanding the agency of architecture. It's not just about building or creating beautiful spaces, but it is about the environment, it's about the people. Uh, so you need to probably investigate more and engage more with uh, other things. And as time is changing, the challenges are far more different. Architects must make themselves available in whatever capacity uh, to, uh, to address these very new challenges that we are faced in the world.